Do you want to watch Ninja Turtles 3 for Tamara's Never Seen? Okay. Well, Malcolm doesn't have any weapons. I don't have my nunchucks. I don't have my nunchucks. Let's do it! Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers. And my name is Malcolm Ray. And today, we are watching Ninja Turtles 3. <sighs> You seem less than enthused. Yeah, because I've heard so much about it not being good. I also have heard. When I said I was going to do Ninja Turtles 1, everyone was like, stay away from 3. Mm -hmm. But the first two were so serviceable, I really hope that it's like so bad it's good, like kind of fun. Right, right. That bad. kind of fun bad where it's like, it's so bad that it's actually kind of entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll... I mean, we'll see though. I'm going into... I'm, I'm, I'm positive. I think this is going to be fun. I am negative. <laughs> Just like my test results. Ooh! Damn, yeah, we're starting on that. Get this off of my What? <laughs> was that new? <laughs> I told you. I am negative. But <gasps> It was way worse than I expected. You know, I thought it was just gonna be like more of the same cheesy humor and it was just gonna be like over the top. Mm -hmm. This was actually underwhelming and awkward and clunky. It very much had the vibe of like trying to be, uh, I don't actually know which one came first, but trying to be Back to the Future 3, kind of same like vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't integrate the characters well at all. Like uh, they they brought back Casey Jones. Mm -hmm. and which was cool. But... Yeah, but like Casey Jones and April O'Neil had no reason to be there. Yeah, so they like, had no reason. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like not a Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, exactly. It's like, let's just throw them back in feudal era Japan for... <laughs> For shits and giggles. Also, there was no <laughs> rapping, so. There was no rapping either. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> There's like the scepter that April just happens to bring from a trinket store. And the rules of it don't make any sense. Like, it just zaps you back in time if you're holding it and someone on the other end of the, the time thingy is holding one. But... But then to switch back, they couldn't just reverse that? Because to switch back they had to like send a whole team back and it's like what but yeah and yeah it was like did three people just happen to be holding the scepter in feudal era japan <laughs> at the same time it didn't make any sense the story was so convoluted like some kind of feudal lord and this pirate gang and then like they're trading weapons and like there's this princess or something and the <laughs> love like it didn't make sense it was I like about that. let's though talk about the really good uh costumes <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Oh, okay, like, they're, the, the set designs for the feudal era, like, that that was cool. Like, yeah. the costumes there were good, but, like, the main issue, which is, you know, the main draw of this movie, are the Ninja Turtles! Jim Woo! Henson was clearly not involved Woo! in this at all. Yikes! <laughs> the animatronics on the head were so sharp and aggressive, it's like, uh, 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 uh. like, I'm like, Dude. Yikes, those lips. <laughs> yeah, you, those lips, though. You are tweaking on me right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leonardo. like they would say things, and it's like, that looks like it was hard for you to say. <laughs> like, you struggled to get those words out. Somehow developed, like, a ton of weird spots everywhere, because they didn't have as many spots in the yeah, first yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, they looked like they had, like, just gotten, like, a disease. Like, they were just struck with, like, turtle syphilis. Like, around the crotch. <laughs> yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Syphilis. <laughs> In my notes, I wrote, oh my god, Casey Jones is back, hooray! One of my favorite parts yeah. of the first movie. And then he's like a glorified babysitter. Yeah. And uh, it was weird also to see Casey and April and Neil together because it's a different April than in the first. Mm -hmm. So you've never seen them like interact before. <laughs> it's so weird. And on the subject of Casey, there was also a feudal era Casey, which you couldn't really tell, but they, they kind of ushered it in. And that was interesting but i'm trying to figure out why they did that it's because the the backlash of the second for not having casey they're like we're just going to put him in a lot we're yeah a lot of he's going to look different in both <laughs> versions this movie was not working on many many levels it just wasn't working the choreo up front was really cool i will say throughout all three films i think that the best part was seeing the turtles and 
actually fight and like do cool yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah. The the choreo was really good. Uh, the stunt work, like it was fine, but it just felt like it was unneeded like it felt like there was no purpose behind the fighting like I, I remember there was one scene where they were literally trying to deter a fight and uh michelangelo was like oh you ding the shell it's time to get you know served or something and it's just like wait what you you're literally de-escalating the situation now you're just gonna fight him because he hits you in your indestructible shell <laughs> oh okay so one part they try to make a fake scepter Oh yeah. And it's like a big point in the film. It takes like multiple minutes to do and they're like making the scepter and then it drops and breaks and they immediately move on. Yeah, it's they just, just move on. I'm like, you why? wasted like 30 minutes. <laughs> why was that there? <laughs> screen time. No personalities was another thing I wrote down. Like the turtles could have been any of the turtles. Yeah, yeah. They were all just literally replicas of each other. But yeah. you, you don't get a sense of their individual identities because they do have their own identities. And so with that, with like the no character development and not showing the characters at all, them being in this weird out of character place mm -hmm. just really like multiplies that. So you're just watching it like, what the f are these Ninja Turtles doing, doing in they this times? What What is happening right now? And it was a short film. It was like an hour and a half. Oh my God. It felt like it was three hours long. <laughs> oh, it felt long. <laughs> I, I wanted to start doing this and Tamara's never seen episodes and be like, if it's, I'm happy or if it should have just stayed that I hadn't seen it. And this is like a Tamara should not have seen. <laughs> Tamara sure. should not have seen. Because <laughs> it was a mess. And everyone on Twitter was saying that it was going to be a mess. But I just, I don't know. When you hear something is so bad, you kind of hope that if it's been enough time that you can watch it with like a take like by taking a step back you can watch mm -hmm. it and like really enjoy it right and this was not that <laughs> it, i mean it was really fun to watch with you and if you weren't there oh my Man. god it would have been hard to watch alone <laughs> the pacing is so awkward like you're just like wait what what yeah like it just drops all of this information on you like like it the movie opens up in feudal era japan you're like okay oh. you're trying to follow along but it just keeps like introducing new elements without you know really explaining and you don't need to like spoon feed it to him but give us something like it, it's gotta it's make, gotta make sense. sense i i know like after this like in the 90s they decided to make a tv series and they introduce a female turtle um so they can have sex of course <laughs> <laughs> and i i completely forget what the storyline with that was because mm -hmm. i was watching the turtle sex right. have you ever seen a video of turtles having sex I know. That's why I kind of have a small aversion to turtles, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. I, I remember watching a video where this turtle was like squeaking. Is That's that it? it? That's it? That's okay, it. Yeah. so that turtle was having sex. I can never get it out of my mind. The sound, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> ah! I don't think anything's ever made me that uncomfortable. <laughs> That's where the spots came from. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Brad has reviewed. Yeah, he did review a, a Ninja Turtles like. Porn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should watch that next. Camera's never seen. Porn! <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> yeah, nothing con connected or mattered. Why didn't April talk about a story once? She literally never talks about her her job. She never... There's no reason for her specifically to be there. Yeah, they could have done something to introduce that scepter too. Like she could have been doing a story on like a museum exhibit. That would have been so easy. There's no reason for, for Casey Jones to be there. Mm -hmm. Which is such a, a a sad thing because in the first film my favorite characters were Casey and April, and so for them to just be like thrown away. Also, this is the creator of Ninja Turtles. This is his favorite film of the three. Yeah, Why? thought that it was more true to to the cartoon. Mm, At least I read cartoon? that somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So maybe not. <laughs> maybe that's not. I don't maybe know. Maybe that's a weird internet rumor. <laughs> maybe, but... as we know, the internet is right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me. I wish we had never seen this film. Told ya! Cowabogus.